Last year, England released a hybrid case. It was called a Mod Free, which is basically a case where you have the base and you can add extra modules to make it bigger and you can put lace on top, side, back. It was so successful that they've actually released a mini version of it. So you have a smaller base and you can again use the same components to expand it, make it bigger and add extra components within. We have all the components here and with this we're going to make a project with a multi-part series where in the first video we're going to cover what components we have and we'll need your comments down below to lead us in terms of what kind of build it should be. So let's get into it and see what we got. So all of this makes one big case. Well, actually, it doesn't need to, but there's options to make a big case. So we have the base panel, which has all the USB connections and everything else. And then we have expansions. So we have uh, multiple different expansions. This is a small expansion, which is for the mini version. And this is a big expansion for the mod free big case. And you can connect them up all together. Then below here, we have three boxes of side panels. Uh, you can see some, I believe it on there. And then we have some accessories for the inside. So we have a vertical GPU bracket, as well as some drive mounts. I'll move it out of the way now because this is a bit hectic. Let's open them up and actually explore what we have inside. This is a very nice looking tower. And the base, again, very solid. So it has some plastic and metal. And I assume it just clicks all together. And accessories. So it comes in within this like, kind of a crayon ba bag for school. Uh, all the different accessories, but you can reuse it, which is nice. With the base unit, this is ultimately a simple ITX tower, which is just upwards. Um, you don't have to have it this way. There's different options we can do with this, but we'll get to that. On the front, we have power button. We have two USBs, two USB type A's. We have a combo audio port, as well as one type C. I wish they had a separate connection for the microphone and headphones, but hey, we got what we got. We've got loads of space for it, so I don't know why we didn't go that way. Uh, all of these panels come off very easily as well. Uh, so they have some magnets in there and uh, some just general connections, as you can see. And they are pretty solid. And they already have mesh on the inside. So I believe they're just, they actually they have some magnets as well. They're kind of using tape in the in, in corners, but they also have magnets to hold it in place. And it's a pretty dense mesh. But I really, I really like the little wooden accents. The other side is basically identical. Same mesh. In fact, I think it is literally identical. And within the case, uh, we have the mount for the uh, motherboard inside here. And you're gonna have the, your IO place at the back here. Uh, the back also comes off by the way. So the power supply would go down the bottom here, uh, down this end, connection that way. It will get to the actual build a bit later on, but um, it certainly just takes apart into small bits, which is really cool. And now that the base is attached, it's nice and solid. To put the base in place or remove it, you just slide it forward and remove. And what you have at the back is you've got a little screw here and a screw on the base as well to lock it down so it doesn't just accidentally slide off. But yeah, just kind of attach it in, slide it in, and then if you want to, just screw it down to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Let me put that away now. I'm going to reattach all the connections so I don't get confused with what the parts are. Which one? It's very solid. I like the quality of it. Um, it doesn't feel as though it's going to be falling off at all. Next, we have a very basic accessory. It's just a frame, a small frame as an expansion. It's very light. It has connections for radiator or fans, and um, you can just click it all in place. And even those, you can unscrew and adjust. So you have to retain the screws over here. There is also the same kind of bag as you have here with the accessories. So you have a few screws, um, a few mounts. One thing about this case, uh, Inwin has an app 
that you can actually get inspired and also go through kind of the manual. It's an interactive app, so you can make the build. We used it on the previous build, POC1, and it was very useful. It had some issues with it, but Inwin has worked to improve that. So let's see how this one goes when we do the build. We have one more frame. This frame is basically the same size as the main base frame, if you look over here. And that's kind of the point of it. So you can attach all the oversize to it and just double up your existing case. Or you can actually do differently. You can actually put this one in the middle, for example, and you can add this one on the side again. Uh, the base does get expanded as well, so uh, it's actually pretty cool. So we can make a decision of what we're gonna do. Maybe two here and then one more here. You can use one of them for just hard drives. You can use one for the graphics card, radiator, whatnot. And it also comes with some just screws. This one's a bit more basic. And now we get to the next bit, which is accessories. In this box, we have the accessories for the mini. And they are very similar to the base unit. So you have the side panel. We have two... Um, extra panels, which is one is the front and one is the back. And we have some other accessories. Base plate. So if you remember that initial base plate, this can be expanded. So existing base plate is two sections. This is an extra section and you can carry on growing it. That's where it gets very flexible. And I believe this is just the top section on this end. Just like so. So all of these, all of these components are for this smaller unit. And all the AI is basically exactly the same as what the initial unit has, just smaller. In the next box, we have more accessories. So we have a mesh panel, we have some top and bottoms, and we have front and back, which is very similar as the other one. And that's the sizes for the bigger units. So with these ones, we don't actually really need them, uh, except for, um, maybe the top and the bottom. And the reason for it is, if we, let's say we're making this build as it is right now. What you would do is you'd remove the side panel here and you interconnect them together. So you just need a blanking plate over here. And then this would just end up going on this side panel anyway. So you really have one panel on this side. You'd have panels from the middle, which is gonna be just connected together like this. All you're missing is blanking plates here and then you're covered that's basically the idea uh, this really has a blanking plate for the top uh, as we've seen in the other cover and then all you do is you use these guys i believe there's a special connection for these to just go and get covered up this way uh, i would need to double check exactly which one it is but yeah uh, that's the idea behind it so you can actually build it out the way you like to have and lastly we have just general accessories so in this case we have a bunch of drive cages with screws that go with it. So if you wanted to go a bit insane and basically have a bunch of drive cages in the case, so just maybe even make it into an SSD server or a hard drive server, uh, you potentially could. And then we have a GPU mount, or in this case, just an offset bracket for the GPU. That's basically it. It's a lot of different components and it is very funky. So what we're gonna do next is I think we're gonna try to design it. And uh, as I said before, we really could do with some of your feedback to let us know what would you like to see inside? What kind of design should we go with? Should we go side by side with the bottom down or if we wanted to, we can even put it sideways. Um, there's no real rules on this because um, ultimately it's really just up to your creativity. That's the idea behind this series. It's about mod free you're free to do whatever you desire. I do like the idea of having the main system in here and then maybe put some like a cooler or whatever else into a separate casing. So we'll get into that and uh, build it out. So make sure to subscribe so don't miss it and we'll see you in the next one.